always kind of had this competitive spirit in her, like in everything. Raw, just was like, yeah. fight, you know, determination, headstrongness. So, and you remember the time that she got that gift? <laughs> for, her, we could, for her birthday? No, for Christmas. For Christmas. And she's like, I'm not going to unwrap it. I'll unwrap it next year. <laughs> I'll unwrap it for next Christmas. She waited till next Christmas and unwrapped it. I'm like, oh. Hi, my name is Anastasia Sanders, but I go by Annie. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Close friends and family would say I'm pretty goofy and that I talk a lot. <laughs> Once you get to know me, I feel like I talk a lot. I started competing when I was around seven. The coaches at Team Texas invited both of our daughters. They seemed to like it, and they did. They both did really well, and so we just kind of let them walk into it at their will. When I first watched her climb, I just noticed how how she never she never wanted to come off the wall. Her mom would have to coax her down sometimes in tears because she was not coming off the wall. She's going to stay up and finish the route. But I knew that she, she was willing to do whatever it took to stay on the wall. That's something, like I said, that you can't coach. It's just innate, it's in them, you know, which is pretty, pretty cool. When I'm climbing, I don't really think about anything. Just like being there and being present. Thinking about the moves and how to be like efficient on the route. My first international comp was 2021. That was Youth Worlds in Verona. I didn't really have any expectations going into that comp. I ended up winning, bouldering, lead, and combined, which was pretty awesome. Twenty twenty-two, I won open nationals for bouldering and lead. I thought maybe I just had like beginner's luck. I didn't know if I was like ready to compete at that level because I didn't really feel like I was that much stronger. And then 2023, I went to team trials and I won. I've just been competing in youth for so long that I wanted to see how I would do in the open circuit. After Japan, I didn't really like meet my expectations that I wanted to, so I started to doubt myself. They have to understand that not every day is going to be their best day, period. If you're training right and pushing yourself to be better like every time, you're going to fail a lot. You're going to fall a lot. You're going to uh, really get frustrated on maybe a third to half of the days that you're training and it demands like a lot of you. Um, so it's really important and I think the highest priority to have a strong mind and a try hard mindset and a process oriented mindset where you're really honing in and celebrating the little successes because if you don't do that and you just like focus on the big goal and you don't reach it every time that is the road to discouragement but if you can focus on those little things that you're doing better even on the bad days then that keeps you going 
And I think that, above all else, is the thing that makes great athletes. The hard thing is, is that when your kids don't perform at whatever level that you think that they can perform at, it's real easy to get discouraged, want to give up altogether. But it doesn't mean that, that what they're doing isn't any good. It's not the end of the world, you know? This comp doesn't define who you are, like what kind of climber you are, it's just another calm. I mean, my hope is the climbing is just going to be here at lifelong sports. It means more to me than anything is that she maintains these friendships for life and, and that she represents her sport well and that she represents to be a good person. Uh, to be a good person. Placing fifth in Korea was kind of a shock to me. That's when I like started to realize I kind of do belong here and I can actually compete at this level. got room to gallop it's her she really allows us to see what is possible and everybody wants to support that they want to see what's like what humans are capable of <laughs> you know at the end of the day it's still just climbing maybe on a bigger stage or harder boulders but still climbing oh.